lines in this chapter we will study properties of the simplest geometric figure that is straight line inclination of a line let a line l we consider that line which is not parallel to the x axis meet the x axis in the point a then the measure of the smallest non negative angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis is called the inclination of the line l the inclination of the x axis or a line parallel to the x axis is 0 degree similarly the inclination of the y axis or a line parallel to the y axis is 90 degrees that is pi by 2 radian from the above definition it is clear that if theta is the inclination of a line then 0 degree less than or equal to theta less than 180 degrees that is 0 less than or equal to theta less than pi slope of a line this is an important concept suppose a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 are any two distinct points on a line then slope of that line is defined by m equal to slope equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 if x1 not equal to x2 the next important definition of slope is if the inclination of a line is theta and theta not equal to pi by 2 then tan theta is defined as the slope of the line slope of a line is usually denoted by m thus tan theta equal to m therefore we can say slope equal to m equal to tan theta equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 the inclination of the x axis or a line parallel to the x axis is 0 degree as tan 0 equal to 0 we can say that the slope of x axis or any line parallel to the x axis is 0 the inclination of the y axis or a line parallel to the y axis is 90 degrees as tan 90 degrees is not defined we can say that the slope of y axis or a line parallel to the y axis is not defined that is the slope does not exist the slope of the line which bisects the angles of the first and third quadrants is tan 45 degrees equal to 1 a line which bisects the angles in second and fourth quadrant has inclination 135 degrees so slope of this line is tan of 135 degrees equal to minus 1 if the inclination theta of a line is an acute angle then its slope that is tan theta is positive such a line is ascending from left to right if the inclination theta of a line is an obtuse angle then its slope tan theta is negative such a line is descending from left to right parallel and perpendicular lines number 1 parallel lines if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal and conversely second perpendicular lines two lines with slopes m1 and m2 are perpendicular to each other if and only if m1 m2 equal to minus 1 or m1 equal to 0 and m2 does not exist intercepts of a line if a line l intersects the x axis in the point a with coordinates a comma 0 then a is called x intercept of the line or the intercept made by the line on the x axis similarly if the line l intersects the y axis in the point b coordinates 0 comma b then b is called the y intercept of the line or the intercept made by the line on the y axis note that the intercepts of a line if they exist are real numbers and hence they can be positive negative or zero clearly length of x intercept equal to mod a and length of y intercept 
equal to mod b note that if intercept made by a line on x axis is 4 the point 4 comma 0 lies on the line on the other hand if the point 0 1 upon 2 lies on the line then 1 upon 2 is the y intercept we now discuss different forms of an equation of a line first we discuss coordinate axis if p x y is any point on the x axis then for all positions of p y equal to 0 therefore y equal to 0 is the equation of the x axis if p x comma y is any point on the y axis then for all positions of p x equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 is the equation of the y axis now lines parallel to the coordinate axis if a line is parallel to the x axis then its equation is of the form y equal to b if a line is parallel to the y axis then its equation is of the form x equal to a where a and b are real numbers standard forms for the equation of a line are number one slope point form the equation of the line having slope m and passing through the point x1 y1 is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 that is y minus y1 equal to tan theta into in bracket x minus x1 where theta is the inclination of a line if we rearrange the terms of this particular equation then we get x minus x1 upon cos theta equal to y minus y1 upon sin theta if line passes through origin then the coordinates of a point on the line can be taken as x1 y1 equal to 0 0 therefore equation takes the form y equal to mx where m is the slope this means any line passing through origin has equation of the type y equal to mx number two two point form the equation of the line passing through the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is given by x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 equal to y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 number three slope intercept form the equation of the line having slope m and y intercept c is y equal to mx plus c number four double intercept form the equation of the line having x intercept a and y intercept b where a not equal to zero and b not equal to zero is x upon a plus y upon b equal to one if line makes equal intercepts on the coordinate axis then its equation is x upon a plus y upon a equal to one that is x plus y equal to a that is y equal to minus x plus a clearly slope of this line is minus one so we can conclude that a line making equal intercepts on the coordinate axis has slope minus one number five normal form equation of a line in normal form is x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to p where p is length of perpendicular drawn from the origin to the line and note that theta is not the inclination of the line whereas theta is the angle made by the perpendicular with positive direction of x axis general equation of a line from the different forms of the equation of a line we observe that an equation of a line is of the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero where a b c are real numbers and a and b are not both zero this is the general equation of a line it is also called linear equation in x and y as it represents a straight line slope of the line 
ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो द इक्वेशन ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो कैन बी रिटर्न एज बी वाई इक्वल टू माइनस ए एक्स माइनस सी इफ बी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो देन वी कैन डिवाइड थ्रू आउट बाय बी टू गेट वाई इक्वल टू माइनस ए अपॉन बी इन टू एक्स माइनस सी अपॉन बी दिस इज ऑफ द टाइप y इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी वेर स्लोप एम इक्वल टू माइनस ए अपॉन बी फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट स्लोप ऑफ अ लाइन इज एम इक्वल टू निगेटिव कोईफिशंट ऑफ एक्स अपॉन कोईफिशंट ऑफ वाई इफ कोईफिशंट ऑफ वाई इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो टू गेट एक्स इंटरसेप्ट वी पुट वाई इक्वल टू जीरो इन द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन एंड टू गेट वाई इंटरसेप्ट we put x equal to 0 in the equation of line equation of any line which is parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is ax plus by plus c dash equal to 0 because parallel lines have the same slope equation of any line which is perpendicular to the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस सी डैश इक्वल टू जीरो एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ स्लोप ऑफ टू परपेंडिकुलर लाइन इज माइनस वन इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू लाइन द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन इज ऑप्टेन बाय सॉल्विंग देयर इक्वेशन साइमल्टेनियसली फॉर दिस वी कैन यूज क्रेमर्स रूल ऑल्सो कॉन्करंट लाइन्स three distinct lines are said to be concurrent if they have a point in common let three concurrent lines be a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 and a3x plus b3y plus c3 equal to 0 then the condition for these three lines to be concurrent is value of the determinant d equal to a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 should be equal to 0 angle between two lines if m1 and m2 are the slopes of the two lines such that m1 m2 not equal to minus 1 then the measure of the acute angle theta between the lines is given by tan theta equal to mod of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 the lines are parallel if theta equal to 0 degree that is tan theta equal to tan 0 equal to 0 that is m1 minus m2 equal to 0 that is m1 equal to m2 if the lines are perpendicular theta equal to 90 degrees that is tan theta is not defined therefore 1 plus m1 m2 equal to 0 that is m1 m2 equal to minus 1 consider the two lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 number 1 if the lines are parallel then a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 number 2 if the lines are perpendicular then theta equal to 90 degrees and therefore we can say that a1 a2 plus b1 b2 equal to 0 perpendicular distance of a point from a line the distance of the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 from the origin is given by mod of c upon root of a square plus b square the distance of the point p x1 y1 from the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is given by mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c upon root of a square plus b square distance between two parallel lines let the two parallel lines be ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0 then the distance between these two parallel lines is given by mod of c1 minus c2 upon root of a square plus b square note that 
to use this formula coefficients of x and y in the equation of the first line must be respectively equal to the coefficients of x and y in the equation of the second line family of lines here we discuss very important theorem if u equal to a1x plus b1y plus c1 and v equal to a2x plus b2y plus c2 then u equal to 0 and v equal to 0 represent two lines if these two lines u equal to 0 and v equal to 0 are intersecting lines then u plus kv equal to 0 where k is a parameter represents a family of lines passing through the point of intersection of the lines u equal to 0 and v equal to 0. 